Good morning. Here we are trying something new once again. Today we are in Austria and we are going to try, what are these? The puffed corn peanuts. Kelly's Snips. Would you like to read us a trivia question? I open them up underneath the table so they're not so loud. Yeah, wait. Ooh. Yeah, I think it's number five. Yeah, it's number five. In the town of Her Her Boom Garden. Bomb. Her Herm Bomb Garden. You can find a museum of stuffed animals, food waste, broken toys, or failed inventions. Museum of Stuffed Animals. That might be neat. Food waste. That would be very smelly, wouldn't it? Broken toys, like the Island of Misfit toys. Uh -huh. Failed inventions. Uh, it's between stuffed animals and failed inventions. And I'm going with failed inventions. You got it right. Hey, my first one. I'm one for five. Oh, these are very similar to the peanut butter puffs we had from, Yeah. I forget where they were from, but we've had these before, just not from Austria. When we came across this yum, we had a few questions. The first, why is there an American flag on the package? The answer takes us back 65 years after WW2. American soldier Howard Morse Kelly decided to stay in Austria to start a snack company with his business partner, Herbert Rast. Today, Kelly's is the top snack manufacturer in Austria, paying homage to their founder with, this, with these patriotic puffs. Our second question, when do locals eat them? Given that snips are one of the country's top three snacks, the answer was simple. Pretty much all the time. These are good. All right. They're like the, the consistency of Cheetos, but they taste like peanut. Yeah, peanut butter. We're talking parties, holiday gatherings, movie nights, you name it. That got us extra excited for our next question. What do they taste like? Dig in and you'll discover the unmistakably rich and savory flavor of salted peanuts. You might even find yourself asking your own question like, how do I eat these so fast? Our scarlet's sniffing around at our feet looking for crumbs. So how would you like to rate these? Tasty. The last peanut butter puffs, or peanut puffs, and I again I don't remember what country they were from. They seemed slimier. They had a they had a greasy feel to them, and these don't. So these are probably better. We'd have to find the other booklet and see how we rated those. So what did you do today? Um, I slept. You slept in late? I was, I'm 25. I was awake for a while, but I haven't done anything productive today. So, like, take a shower. For all of our five viewers out there, this is what I look like when I wake up in the morning. Not too bad, huh? For a... Oh, this is what I look like. Because I have my hair in a ponytail. For an old guy. And a young girl. Um, are we going to polish those off? Or are we going to 
I'll move on to the next one. You okay? Mm-hmm. You all right? Heimlich? No. Heimlich? I'm not even choking. I just right. had to cough. Are we finishing these first? They're almost done. Let's move on. Let's just go later. These are almost done. Let's finish them up. Tell, okay. I'll read something about Austria. No, read the next one. It's strawberry, strawberry wafers. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart comes from Austria. Undoubtedly one of Austria's most famous citizens. Mozart was an extremely accomplished composer of the classical era. He started writing music in 1761 when he was just five years old. And by 17, he was performing for the Royal Salzburg Court. In his short 35-year lifespan, he composed over 600 works, many of which would inspire equally important composers like Joseph Haydn and Beethoven. See? Learn something new every day. Are they all done? All right. Moving on to milch wafflets. Strawberry cream filled wafer with chocolate. We need like a toothbrush to cleanse our palate. All right, ready? Oh, we both have one, so go ahead. You picking your teeth on the video? I'm not. There was like something in my mouth. Yeah, your finger was in your mouth. No, there is. I had to get something out. Oh, I like the, the look of it. It was hurting me. Oh, it's very interesting. <clears throat> what happened? A bunch of crumbs just fell off the top oh. when I tipped it. Smell it. Smells like strawberry. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mm, so good. That's good. Strawberry and chocolate together. Plus the, the lightness of the vapor. Oh, well, we, I think this deserves a five. Okay. All right. Pop quiz. In Austria, ananas is the word for a particular fruit. Can you guess which? Nope, it's not bananas. Ananas strawberry? actually refers to pineapple and strawberry. In the early 20th century, Austria had tons of wild and farmed strawberries, but barely any pineapple. Seeking to differentiate the strawberry varieties, Austrians decided to call the wild ones Erbieren and the farmed ones Ananas, repurposing the unused word for pineapples. Everything was great. Did you just put all the crumbs on the floor? Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm scared of flicking them up. <laughs> No wonder she's rooting around the table whenever we're sitting here. This is the only time I've ever done. Okay. <coughs> Everything was great. <coughs> that is, until the 1970s when Austrians started importing pineapples from the U.S. Since they'd already repurposed the name Ananas, they had to come up with a new name for the fruit, eventually settling on Hawaii Ananas. Phew! To recap, Austrians refer to strawberries by either ananas or erbieren, so you can use both to describe the creamy filling inside the crispy chocolatey wafer, but we think you'll end up using a totally different word, delicious. And if you could read us our next trivia question. The subway system in the village of Surfius is the plague in the world. Longest, shortest, 
fastest or slowest? <coughs> um, because it's a village, I'm going to say smallest, shortest, sorry, shortest, there is no smallest. Oh, you got it right. Oh, nice. So I'm two for six, getting better. All right. Are we good for today? Uh -huh. Did you write down five stars for that? You did. Uh -huh. All right. So that'll do it for this edition. As always, please subscribe, give a like, give a comment, give a share. Anything is greatly appreciated. Until next time, have a great day. I'm enthusiastic with it.